many modern brake barrel air guns come with suppressors integrated into their barrel. This Benjamin Trail Nitro XL Magnum is an example. Air guns in general are much quieter than real firearms, which begs the question, why would you need a suppressor? Typically, most of the noise in an air gun comes from the spring and piston slamming within the receiver or the crack of the projectile as it breaks the sound barrier. So, does the suppressor actually slow down the projectile? Or does the baffle system in the suppressor negatively impact the projectile in any way? Today, we're going to find out on this episode of Moondog Industries. So on the same day, I was testing out an air gun pellet trap, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll include a link to it. Some fellow club members saw me filming and were curious about the air gun I was using. Does the suppressor actually work? If so, how well? And does it affect the FPS? Well, we thought we'd find out. But first, a quick disclaimer, lest YouTube flag and ding this video. Air guns are not firearms. Suppressors on air guns are not regulated by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and are legal for sale and use on air guns in all 50 states. Furthermore, the suppressor in this video is an original component of this air gun model and cannot be used on a real firearm. And if you think it's completely ridiculous that I have to explain all this, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. That out of the way, let's get to testing. We're using a packed chrono on a Benjamin Trail XL22 Magnum. I'll be firing five shots with and without the baffles to get an average. Uh, we'll be shooting with uh, Benjamin Discovery pellets here. They're the uh, domed dimples, they're hollow point, but really they're just dimples of the, on the top of the dome uh, pellets here. And these shoot pretty well. Well, not surprising since this is a Benjamin rifle and these are Benjamin pellets anyway. Uh, what I want to test today is whether or not the uh, sound dampening baffles in the front of this barrel make any difference in terms of the performance uh, you know, speed-wise. Um, it shouldn't, or maybe it should. It all depends on the construction and the how true the, the barrel is, but uh, it seems to shoot uh, fairly well, uh, decent groups uh, at 25 yards with it on. So we're gonna just see what the difference is. So I'm gonna shoot five rounds and I've got a chrono here, a uh, professional chronograph, and we're gonna be testing at five rounds average uh, with a baffle on and then with the baffle off. So let's get started. Okay, first round down range. And that was 792 feet per second. Seven eighty-seven point Seven eighty-eight point two. Finally, seven eighty-three point seven for an average of seven eighty seven eighty-six point one. And let's print that to print that out. Okay, and while it's printing out, I'm going to remove this uh, barrel sheath. And the baffles are in here. It adds about six inches to the overall barrel length. The barrel stops uh, over here. This will be string two. All right, so string two.
Now that extra six inches does help in terms of uh, leverage when charging this rifle. All right, and significantly louder, uh, about 20 decibels, 15 to 20 decibels, um, 791.1. Seventy two point six seven eighty six point two All right, we're almost finished with this range. That was a range update command because we're going to be needing to clear out to the range for a drill. So last. And the last there is 782.3 for an average of 785.8. So there you go. Um, on average, not that much difference. No difference, really. Signif no significant difference at all with or without the baffle. But the only significant difference is that it is much quieter. So if you're curious as to whether or not this affects your performance. Now, I didn't do an actual group test, um, but uh, it groups perfectly fine, uh, acceptable with this on. So uh, there's really no reason to take this off for if, you're, if you're curious. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, it really helps grow this channel and uh, it helps you because it um, you're playing around with the algorithm to let them know what kind of content you like to watch. You know, see more videos like this by myself and other content creators as opposed to, I don't know, K-pop videos. Unless you're into those Asian pretty boys. Anyway, thanks for watching this Asian pretty boy. You be safe out there. Moondog, out. We can all do our part to strengthen our sport by taking a noob to the range. Introduce them to a new hobby in a fun, safe way. Start by sharing this video with them on forums, Facebook, TikTok, Telegram, whatever. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.